I feel the liquor holding on to my breath Playing back every word that I say Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Amanda and today is my first video of 2024, of cleaning video that is. And I'm super excited. I feel like 2024 is going to be an exciting year. I know we have talked about doing more things outside of um, like our town, exploring our town more. Um, I feel like that's something that we really haven't done. Um... And just kind of trying to do more things to where obviously our kids can be involved in it. So we're going to be doing a lot of research, seeing what we can find around our town, our city, whatever, to um, just kind of get out and do more. I have like anxiety being around big crowds. And actually last year we talked about going to a fair that was in our town and they have it like every year of course and we actually talked about going well something happened to where we couldn't go but I am so glad that we like that that happened like we didn't end up going because actually there was a shooting that happened and um it was pretty scary I just that's why I get anxiety around tons of crowds because it seems like more and more that happens. But I feel like we are in a new year, 2024, and it's going to be a good one. I'm just hoping and praying for the best this year. Um, so let me know some of your resolutions or goals or, or whatever you call them, what you want to plan for this year, what you got going on, some things that you want to try. Um, I know I definitely want to try and drink more water. I have a problem with drinking water. I think it's bland. So <laughs> I love ice water though. Um, but I definitely want to try and do that. Of course, getting back into workout routines. I definitely need to get in shape. I haven't done anything since having my um, second son. So, you know, that mama pouch, got to get rid of that to at least try to. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is what it is, but of course, trying to keep up with the house a little better. I feel like I have those days or weeks where I keep the house clean constantly and then I fall off. And when I fall off, I fall hard. <laughs> so I definitely want to work on that for sure. But anyways, back to the video. So of course the living room is a disaster. This is where the kids play constantly. Um, this is where quite a bit of their, well, at least my youngest, his toys are, are out in the living room. So it does get to be a mess all the time in here, but that's okay. We are going to get it back in order. He is taking a nap. So I get to take as much time as I can to get this done. And, uh, I had to do it pretty quietly. So thank, thank you for, um, the speeding up of the videos because it would be a lot longer video than what it is. Um, but I know I'm getting my video done literally the same day that I'm getting it posted. And that's because it is so hard for me to film with having a second child now that's a baby because he loves to run off with my tripod. I'll be doing my thing and I'll turn around and he's like got it over his shoulder running down the hallway. So <laughs> this kid, he is so silly and um, makes it very hard for me to film while he's awake. So I do mostly film while he is sleeping, unless Tyler is home with me, then I try and get some things done, but I just do what I can when I can. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to get this video cleaned up. I feel like I've been gabbing for a little bit, so I'm going to let you watch the video for a minute and listen to some music. I would like to get some new music done. It's just a matter of sitting down and being able to listen and getting it done. Um, so let me know down in the comments what, what you want to hear, whether it's like country, hip hop, whatever. Just let me know down in the comments down below and I will see what I can do.
So yeah, as I'm putting the toys away, I totally forgot that little bunny thing was turned off. And of course my son's sleeping in the next room and it sounded so much louder than how it is on film. I was like, oh my goodness. But thankfully it did not wake him up. Um, so yeah, that was good. But <laughs> I just couldn't believe that it did that. For the road all my life Thirsty for adventure all my youth Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue And every time I hear a phrase My mother used to say to me Everything happens for a reason taste of So another little before and then of course I will show you the after as well and then we are going to go into the kitchen of course my kitchen got out of hand it's always one of those things where the dishes get done get put away dirty get to, dishes get put in there and then it's like I forget that they're dirty but Tyler do you see that right there on the dishwasher Tyler actually got me that um, for Christmas and it was so funny because some people like kind of thought that like that dishwasher thing was on there by mistake. And I was like, nope, I want it. I want that, please. <laughs> so I don't know. I just wanted a lot of like kitchen things, I guess, and organizing things. And they're like, are you sure that's what you want? And I'm like, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I guess that's when you know, like you are an adult when you want organizing things for Christmas instead of like clothes or or whatever but I did get it a good variety of everything I was extremely happy with Christmas I well I'm extremely happy every year for Christmas when you know people take that thought of you and get you something and that's just amazing so 
I absolutely love Christmas. We had such a good Christmas. Our boys, for like our youngest though, he's not, he wasn't really into unwrapping presents as my oldest was when he was about his age. He ripped into those things when he was little. <laughs> And, uh, but my youngest is kind of like, like he'll try and then he's like, yeah, I'm over this. So, and then like runs off somewhere, but it was definitely fun. It was a good time. And I'm glad he was actually involved this year, whether last year he was so tiny and just kind of hung out in his chair while Watson opened up all of his presents, but it was so, so fun. I hope you guys had a good Christmas and a wonderful new year's. And I hope you guys stayed safe. I know New Year's can be a little scary sometimes. So, but of course we just stayed home and we played all kinds of games and watched the ball drop and then we went to sleep. So <laughs> it was so fun. We played Twister and Sorry and um, Trouble. We played Monopoly, which it was supposed to be a Christmas gift for me. Because we watch Bob's Burgers like every night. Um, which if you don't know what Bob's Burgers is, it's kind of like The Simpsons. So it's like a cartoon. And I don't know, cartoons are kind of like a comfort to me, I guess. So we watch it every night. And I think it's more or less for me to watch it. <laughs> and um, I love Bob's Burgers. So Tyler got me a Bob's Burgers Monopoly themed game. And we've been playing it a few times. And... We love it. Even our oldest plays with us. Granted, he doesn't really know much of what's going on, but he has so much fun playing it. I just love it. So now the dishwasher is going, and I'm just going to finish, um, refill my, um, dish sponge thing right here. I don't, the words are not coming to me right now. <laughs> I'm going to get this refilled and then gather up the rest of the dirty dishes and do them that need to be hand washed and then just try and clean off the rest of the countertop over here.
If I be honest, loving you the hardest thing to do, so I keep to myself. I feel like I'm falling in and out of consciousness. Yeah. Now we're starting to talk, less killing all the progress. Really hard to process, treat me like an object. Baby, we toxic, can we stay on topic? I feel like we lost it, feel like we lost it. Take my love, don't waste it. Even though I don't mind waiting. Latest, my mind racing. What else I have to do, girl? I only want you. I want you. So now, of course, again, your before and your after, which obviously is so satisfying always seeing. Even, even little bits like this, it's satisfying to see the before and afters. So I feel like I haven't done them for a while, or at least show them together like that. And then, of course, I had to show you what was in my crock pot. It was in a um, cook with me video. It will be posted on Friday. It doesn't look appetizing, but let me tell you, it was absolutely delicious. But now moving on to the countertop over here, we are going to get this all cleaned up and put everything back where it belongs. Running from things that you know Just trying to find where to live but it's not bringing you home As if hope was a pill or a bottle Or a phone that could hold me And heal all my sorrow But still nothing upholds me And freeze my tomorrow like you Ooh With you I see the morning always comes With you I hear the story told by Seasons rising like the sun Cause morning always comes So now again before and afters um, The little plastic thing over there I do try I do talk about it in the next clip But of course I have it muted that I seen people take like um, their kids like handprints, footprints, whatever, and make little shrinky deeks out of that. So I want to try that. But here's some more Christmas gifts that Tyler got me, um, and the little thing to put your bags in. This I'm so excited. I've been wanting these for a while. They are spice um, jars, and um, I'm so excited to use those and just kind of make it look a little better and more organized. And then my favorite thing are these measuring cups and spoons. I was so excited about these because they are brass 
and I absolutely love the way that they look. They are such good quality. They're like very heavy and I absolutely love it and cannot wait to organize and get that all put together. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and move on into the laundry room and get some towels going. I can see the light, lost my heart for a while, but now I'm feeling right. Hold your hope. So now I don't know what happened to my clip. Maybe I just haven't uploaded it yet. Um, I did end up folding those towels and I will not lie about it. It did take me three days to do it. So I washed them day one, day two, threw them in the dryer and day three, I folded them up. Um, you know, I hate doing laundry and I tend to forget about it too. So there's that. But now it is time to put the Christmas stuff away. I am going to use my tote here and try and put as much in there as I can. Um, I have mentioned in previous videos that I'm trying to get a little more organized with um, decor and of course our basement. It is, I would consider it um, a hoarder's basement. Um, it is literally like our basement is about the size of our house besides our kitchen area. Like it doesn't go that far, but it is the size of our house. And, um, it is completely full down there. There is not one single open area that does not have anything there. So um, we need to get that. We need to get that cleaned. And that is on my list this year to do. Whether we have a yard sale. We do like to have yard sales. Whether posting it than posting it um, on Facebook to sell. Because, you know, I get very overwhelmed very easily, very easily. So when I post something on online and um, then I have like three people, even three people start messaging me, messaging me at once. I'm like texting Tyler, like you should have done this. Not me. I'm already overwhelmed. <laughs> um, like that's how overwhelmed I get. So I literally hate doing that. I did that with my youngest son's bluey birthday stuff, um, his decorations. And I got so overwhelmed with it. And I'm like, gosh, this was a mistake. Why did you do this? <laughs> so we're definitely going to have a yard sale and we're definitely donating a lot of it. I would like to find some, um, DV shelters. I don't know if I can actually say that on YouTube. Um, but I would like to find some of those shelters to donate like the kids' clothes and my clothes um, and then just try and figure out what to do with everything else. So that would be nice. I'll have to look that up and see what I can do. But definitely this year I want to get that basement done because I'm trying to get it more organized, whether it is the basement or our whole entire house. But anyways, so this book here, it was last year, Tyler created this. I found it on Instagram and I sent it to him and he jumped right on it. Got it. Um, you design it yourself. So you pick out, um, like you're designing your little kids there. You can pick out the pages and all of the things. It was so fun. I wish I had a link for it, but I don't. Um, like I said, this was, well, I guess it was two years ago. So it was when we brought our youngest home that um 
we we got this book done. So now it's going to be like a tradition where we read it every year on Christmas Eve. And I loved it. Um, my, of course, my youngest wasn't really into it. You don't know what's going on. But um, there's a part in the book where you howl. I think, I think it was a wolf. So you howl like a wolf and we were all doing it and he just like turned around and he had the biggest smile on his face and he was just like staring at all of us. He's like, what is going on? And then he started doing it. It was so funny. It's kind of one of those things where I wish we got that on video, but it is what it is. But anyways, I'm going to get all of this stuff collected, try and put it all away, and um, then we're going to move on into the living room and take down the Christmas tree. I hope you can hear every note that my heart sings Like a choir of bells, how they all ring Oh, can't you tell? Tampany swells in heartstrings. There's a place deep in our hearts where it matters. We can stay there forever and after. Written in stars right above where we are. I hope you don't mind if I say that I love you. Every day another high do Cause you know I do 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 I do 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 I do So now we are going to, I'm going to take down this banner right here. And then those Christmas towels, I'm honestly going to leave them out because um, I love them. And I haven't found any that I really want to replace them with yet. Of course, we have our brown ones um, that are on the sofa. And we love those ones too. They are better home and garden. And so are those Christmas tree blankets there. But I'm just going to keep them out for right now. I'm just not ready to put them away I guess um so yeah but this bag here it just came in the same day uh my oldest while well, both of my boys were playing with the Christmas tree box and destroyed it um so we had to order something to put it in because we didn't just want to put the Christmas tree downstairs in the basement and you know get spiders and all the things in there we do have like a cellar door down there so spiders and crickets and stuff get in so that is not not fun at all <laughs> and that's kind of another reason why I want to get the basement cleaned up um and I'm also terrified to get it cleaned up because I'm not trying to come across no spiders um at our old house we did come from a um we had a trailer that was on the river we were um, renting it and I had never seen spiders so big before in my life like it was like we were cleaning the backside area um because the last people that lived there like they literally left almost everything they just kind of left and gone and the people that owned the house was like if you guys want some of the stuff there because they had some like some furniture and stuff and we came from a tinier apartment than moving into the um when we moved into the trailer and, um, so we're like, yeah, we'll, we'll see what they got. And we did end up keeping a couple tables and stuff, but everything else just kind of went. And as we were cleaning, I was like, I like stopped dead in my tracks. And I was like, Tyler, there's a tarantula. He's like, there's not tarantulas in Kentucky. I was like, are you sure? It was huge y'all. I'm not even kidding. I was literally shaking. 
I, I was so scared. So never again did I like go back there. If I did, I ran back, did what I had to do and ran back out. Like I was not about that life. No. So, and even like snakes, I've never seen so many snakes in my life. And I grew up in the country. So I'm like, why is there so many snakes? Like the summertime, our new house that we're living in now currently, constantly gardener snakes in the yard. I'm like, why? Where, why? Why is there so many snakes? <laughs> is there a way to keep snakes out of your yard? I would love to know that because that would be amazing because I've never seen so many in my life. Um, like I went and picked up my son one time and got him out of the car and I walked around to get my youngest out and he's like, mom, there's a snake. I almost snipped on that snake. That snake didn't bite me. It should have because I didn't see it and I literally stepped right next to it. I'm like, oh my Lord. No, I can't. I just, I don't know what it is. I'd rather move back out into the country because I've never seen so many snakes before. And we live in the, in town now. So I don't know. It's crazy. All right. I'm just gabbing. But so we got the tree in our bag and I'm totally loving the bag. We could honestly get a bigger tree. It's, um, I think it said it was for seven and a half, which I think our tree is seven foot. Um, but I feel like even an eight foot tree, do they have eight foot trees could fit in this bag? Like I thought it was a pretty decent size. Um, but of course, just slapping the label on my tote here. And then I'm just going to take everything and start putting it next to the basement. So when Tyler gets home, he can help me take it down because of course I got the coffee table that we are not using now and all of this stuff over there. So I want to get that all taken down. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it got you some motivation. I know taking down my Christmas stuff, I feel so much more relaxed. It was getting very overwhelmed with the Christmas stuff out, toys everywhere. It was a lot. So I'm so glad to get it all down. I'm even more glad to have the house all picked up and cleaned. Um, but yeah. And sorry if I sound congested. I don't know what is going on because I wasn't like this like a few minutes ago. <laughs> um, and it just kind of hit me out of nowhere. But again, I hope this gave you guys some motivation. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of music you would like to listen to. And hopefully I will have the time here soon to be able to find some, download some, and get it on videos. But I hope to see you guys in the next one. Um, if you are not yet subscribed, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Tell me we were on the same page But baby, baby I was hearing things while you were switching lanes We were going so fast that the lines were only blurry Didn't stop to realize that you could hurt me I think that I would have died to call you mine To call you mine I was a highway, you were on a joyride Always driving like you were running from something Didn't stop to realize that you could hurt me, I think